streamline document uploads and assessments using the Discovery Framework Document Matrix Element. Use the Document Matrix Element to process KYCs faster by ensuring that your applicants upload only documents relevant to their application, improving efficiency. Only the correct document requirements are presented to each user in the assessment forms, minimizing errors and delays. Now, let's look at some of the objects that do the job for the document matrix element. The document checklist item object stores information on uploaded documents, such as the documents uploaded during an assessment. The document type object stores information on different types of documents required for various applications. For example, driver's license, SSN card, and birth certificate. The document category object helps you organize document checklist items into functional groups. For example, identity proof and address proof. The document category document type junction object links document types to document categories. For example, you can link the document types passport and driver's license to the document category proof of identity. Similarly, you can group the document types utility bills and lease agreement to the proof of address document category. The document decision requirement object stores the criteria that determine which documents the respondent must upload for an assessment. Now that we understand how the data model works, Let's explore how the document matrix element can streamline document uploads during the KYC process. First, using the discovery framework assessments, create an assessment form to gather basic information from the applicant during the application process, such as nationality, residency status, and income source. Next, set up document types, for example, driving license or SSN. Next, set up document categories, for example, identity proof or address proof. Link the document type with a document category. For example, associate the document types driving license and SSN with the identity proof document category. Next, establish logic to direct the document matrix element based on collected customer information. Use decision tables to define the rules and logic for determining the outcome, such as required document categories based on specific customer details. Add the document matrix element to the assessment form layout. Remember, you must add the element as a separate step after the set of questions that determines which documents the respondent must upload. Map the assessment questions to decision table inputs. For each required document, a file upload option is automatically added to the assessment form layout. That's it! The applicant is prompted to upload the exact documents needed for the assessment. Upon successful verification of the documents, the defined process is completed quickly and efficiently. Instead of creating multiple assessment forms with identical questions and varying document requirements, Unlock the power of the document matrix element. To learn more, check out these resources. Or join us on the trail at trailblazer.salesforce.com 